So today I'm talking about a P0505 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0505 code? Well, it's an idle control system. And what does this mean? Well, fuel injected vehicles have what's called a throttle body. And this is basically where all the air goes into the engine. And so when you go to press on the gas pedal, this butterfly is gonna open up. It's gonna slowly open up and let more air in so the engine can make power. But when the gas pedal is let go of this plate inside of here, this butterfly plate is gonna close. Then the vehicle's computer is gonna take over and start controlling the idle speed. And to do this, it uses what's called an idle air control valve. And this idle air control valve basically just bypasses that butterfly. Here's a really simple example. Basically, all the air is going into the engine through this throttle body, but when the engine's idling, this butterfly plate is gonna be closed. And so the computer or the ECM is gonna start controlling how much air is going into the engine. And there'll be a port opening right before the butterfly, and there'll be a port opening right after the butterfly, and there'll be like a small little diaphragm inside the idle air control that the computer is controlling to allow air into the engine. And so by using this idle air control valve, the computer can control how much air is going into the engine and it can control the idle. But when you get a P0505 code, the computer's seeing that the idle is being erratic, like the RPMs are too high or they're too low, or they're just all over the place. And so it's gonna send out this P0505 code. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted and why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, the first thing is go examine that throttle body. Be sure it doesn't look like it's really extremely dirty or anything like that, that there's not a lot of buildup on it or anything. Because if these get really dirty, you can throw everything off and can cause issues. If it does look dirty, you can go get some throttle body cleaner at like an auto parts store or places like this and get like a little toothbrush and basically just clean it up inside of there and get all the buildup off and things like this because a dirty throttle body can't cause a lot of problems. If you do use throttle body cleaner to clean it up, when you first start up the engine, it will run a little bit rich and it might take a minute or two to clear out all that throttle body cleaner, but it should go away after a minute or two and that's pretty normal. The next thing that can cause this problem is going to be this idle air control valve itself. Might have just gone bad. There might be some kind of issue with it. Sometimes these ports get clogged up or they got buildup inside of them so they can be cleaned. There's some different ways you go about testing these. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing to go and check out is going to be this idle air control valve and be sure that it's working correctly. One thing to keep in mind with the idle air control valve is that if anything's wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad valve. The wiring on these is going to vary. There could be three wire ones, four wire ones, eight wire ones. It's really going to vary on the vehicle, the year, the make, things like this. So you will need to go get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But some basic things to check for, be sure you're getting voltage, be sure you got good grounds. But basically keep in mind, anything wrong with that wiring is gonna cause issues. Another thing that can cause this issue is if there's some kind of vacuum leak going on. And this would be something like a loose or broken hose, a bad intake gasket, something along these lines. There's some different ways you go about trying to check for a vacuum leak. Some mechanics will start up the engine and then they'll use like a spray and wherever they think that the leak's at, they'll spray the spray and if the engine idle changes, then they'll know they found the leaky location. Another method is the smoke machine method where basically you feed smoke into the air intake and wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at. So there's some different methods on how you go about finding a vacuum leak. But the next thing to do would be to go around and look to see if there's some kind of leak going on on the intake. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0505 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.